all right what is going on today youtube and as you can see we're going to start off already inside of the door as, as you can see there is some magicians going against we don't know as of now but it is a 50 card deck and then he go ahead and starts off with a pendulum why would you get the irish magician you already have i don't understand why um okay he's i'm pretty sure he's gonna do this but i'm pretty this is a tuner. This is an actual good ass tuner. All right, so wait, it's only when it's pendulum summon do you get that effect? Yes, it is. This card is amazing. I don't, did this come out already? I have no clue. But while um, Rego98 does make his move, I would like to say if you guys do um, enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And also, if you guys can kick an, click an ad to help support the channel. So he summons a Bills. A lot of people are starting to summon bills. I mean, this is a masterpiece, pretty much. Masterpiece cannot get over this. So, I mean, actually, nothing in the deck can get over it because I don't. I, I believe they don't play kaiju's. So, yeah, there's literally nothing a, a masterpiece that can. I mean, true Dragos can actually do. And this is like going up against a 50 card red eyes, and this is bad for Rigo because this could end in one simple move. One simple move, he can actually. Th this duel can actually end because. If you guys don't know, um, what do you call it? Uh, fucking uh, Red Eyes, Dark, uh, Flare Metal Dragon and Bills is a terrible combination because, um, ooh, he went into a Sundu King. Now, what's going to happen is if he activate any type of cards, then Flare's going to activate. This is going to trigger. Flare's going to, and it's an infinite loop, and then you end up losing. So he's going to go into a Rephlesia. He's going to banish the Pendulum Dragon. And then I believe he may attack over this or attempt to attack over it. Now he's going to activate a Red Eye. Oh, there's a level seven. I think I know what he's going for here. Um, yeah, he's he's trying to go for it. He's trying to go for the Bills, uh, the, what's it, the Red Eyes Flare Metal combo. Um, if I was uh, Rigo, I would immediately get rid of my Bills. I would try my hardest. To get rid of bills because this is no bueno against a red eyes deck this is something you definitely don't want on the board because like i said that when a flare metal hits the board it's pretty it's it's game over basically you activate one card is you know you're done or if he like somehow gets a reflation back on the board if he makes this trigger for any reason this game is just completely over but let's see what the magician player can do he still has the voice he can wait whoa what He can just wait. Why can't he? We can't pin him some of this again. Um, let's see. All right, so that's going to trigger. That was a pretty dumb move, I guess. Damn it, it won't let me. Okay, this game could be relatively over. Oh, shit, that motherfucker went to 4500. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. We're gonna try this one more time. There we go. All right, can I be special summoned from the? Oh, okay, never, I never knew that. I never knew it couldn't be special summoned from the extra deck. So that literally, that okay. So look, man, Konami knows how to make cards. You see, like that right there is a perfect pendulum card. It literally, you know, once you use the effect, you, they should have just said you can only use this effect once per door. All right, it, he's going for it. He's going for it, folks. Now, what Rigo has to do is this automatic. Oh yeah, this this game's over, folks. This game's over. Uh, yeah, there's nothing he can do. He, he might as well just quit now. Um, no, you messed up. No, he he messed up. He messed up. Now nah, he messed up. See, he had he had a short fire way of game. All he had to do was go into red eyes flare and attack over this. This is mandatory, and then he would have won the game. But now I don't I don't know what he can do. Now I don't know what's gonna happen. He he messed up badly. He messed up badly oh he went big eye okay well that that was his fault he 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 had he had a short far way to victory so i'm glad Re i mean I'm, I'm glad rigo didn't listen to my advice even though he can't hear me i'm glad he didn't quit because now you're back in the game because look like you're, you're literally back in the game because of your opponent and your opponent literally just they're handing you the game right now that's what's going on right here but what's good about um shark berserker he's going to get a fusion a free fusion oh this is game 
never mind. <laughs> I forgot this car was down there. So hopefully they do get a match too because this seemed like it ended prematurely. Um, hopefully we do get a match too because, you know, we, we can see how the magicians, you know, work in game two, what Red Eyes is going to do in game two. Let's see if we can get a game two. And all right, sadly, we cannot get, uh, what's the name, Shark Berserker back because I did want to kind of follow what he can do with his Red Eyes. But we do have a nice little metal match for you guys. So let's see. We got um, me, 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 oh, see, look, I say I wanted to say Fox, but you, you see, so was, I guess it's Migano FX against Sailor V. And let's see what Sailor V got because Mickey, uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey, no FX. That's what I meant to say. I, I, I think I said Fox started off with a one day of peace. So let's see what's going on here. It looks like a stalemate between two individuals but let's see what somebody's playing is this can this possibly be spirals can it possibly be oh, oh how is the new six samurai so now we got our first look at six samurai on this channel oh it looks like he's about to go off um he's summoning the guy geki pretty sure he's gonna have the kagamusha that is really that i mean that's gonna be paint oh no he has an elder so that means instead of um, this can get his kagamusha so he's okay uh he can actually go into the fusion because that's that's three six hammerized. That is something he can't do, but I believe that's a terrible play. There's no reason. Oh, now that right there. Did not see that coming because this is going down to 200. So I'm guessing he may have a, a Kizan or Grandmaster in his hand. Um, And that can put a lot of pressure. Okay, well, the double-edged sword technique is, is, a, is a fine option in itself. Um, So now he can he can go Naturia Beast and he can go Shin. This game looks like it's over. But glad, but wait, whoa, wait a minute. It is not over because this, this one day of peace did activate last turn. So no damage can be done. So Sailor V is still in, even though he's facing down a very formidable board. It is, ooh, that is uh, not Tatsarn. What are you playing? Hecatrice. Yeah, I I'm guessing you're trying. Ooh, you know what can be? Oh, no, never mind. See, I think I was thinking the side frames were in his head. What do you think you're about to do, sir? Like, seriously, what do you, th I don't get it. What, what's going on here? Oh, he just has it. Well, he had all three. That is, that's got to suck. Oh, he didn't have the Regeki. I've seen the Regeki milled. Um, yeah, Taylor, it, this is just a formidable board. There's really nothing you can do. Um, now he just has to summon one more monster and it's just game over. Uh, what's the name? Uh, I'm just going to call him M. M, uh, he, just, he just went off first turn. There's really nothing that Sailor V could have did. He did have a hand. Doesn't look like he opened up the best, but he looks like he is playing some type of fairies. But I don't understand. They both, they, it said meta. Like, it literally said meta in the little tagline. So, I, I did, none of this is meta at all. You can go double Sheen. That's a lot more. Actually, that's, that's still not game, which is crazy. You have double Sheen in an entire beast, and you still don't have victory. That's crazy. This can actually end up hurting, uh, what's the name, M, because if... If you can't win with double sheen, I know the tax don't equal up, but you got to have something, man. You got to have something. He only, your opponent only has 800 left. Uh, let's see what, he, let's see if Sailor V can mount a comeback and not quit and just play out the door. Let's see what's going on here. And it looks like no, but is he conceding or is he, does he have a battle fader? I, I believe he has a battle fader. Can I be correct? No, he does not have anything at all. He just go ahead and conceded, and he let that play go. So let's see if they do end up continuing to play. It's looking pretty good as of right now. We're waiting for the side. Uh, oh, side is already over. Getting straight back into the uh, what's the name? Straight back to the game. So I don't know. Once again, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro does mess up. I don't know if M is. I don't know if they switched all of a sudden. But we'll see now because Sailor V is going first and they end phase again. Oh my God, that really has to suck for Sailor V. Doesn't look like um, the person's, I, I don't know. I'm thinking Sailor Moon, so it doesn't look like the, the, what's the name, the plan is going through. He's starting off with a dojo and a United. This game looks like it's over just from the first two cards. A Kageki, a Kagamusha. Can go ahead and spell doom. Anishi is already cool. I mean, Anishi is cool in itself. Oh wow, sir, why? Why would you? You? you why would you? What? 
Wow. Okay. So let's see if another twenty. This is a, this is the farthest from you know for, no not the farthest but the furthest from a meta duel. I don't understand what's going on here, but let's see if Sailor V can actually do something instead of pass because that's pretty much what we've seen all game. Sailor V just passed. Uh, what well, no he. Oh, there's another Twin Twister. Let's see. Oh, no, there's a Valhalla. So it looks like he's playing um, some type of fairy, uh, fairy, what's it? I, I don't know how to, it's probably a fairy lock. No, he's playing agent. Wow. You could, you didn't, oh, you didn't have nothing with agent. Now, what I'm thinking is that he did probably have like shine balls in his hand, but I don't think he wanted to uh, let his opponent know that, you know, he's playing agent. Because you still, if you had no chance to win, there's no, really no reason to even do that. But he draws into another United, and let's see what's going on now. He summons the Kazaru, which is one of the new six samurais. And if you guys don't know what this does, the effect is right here. Pretty much, when it's special summon, you can add a six samurai monster from your deck to your hand with a different attribute. And uh, any monster you control, and ooh, uh, Honest came down. And you kind of could you could have projected that because he did go into his battle phase in the end this turn. So that was pretty much telling that he did have something to attack over this with. But now it looks like Sailor V is going to take control of this duel. Let's see what happens. He's going to summon the Venus. Uh, let's see if there's a Maxi. Oh, there is a Maxi. Ooh, that has to suck for Sailor V. As soon as he gets a chance to go off on his opponent, there's the Maxi. But let's see if Venus continues, then this game may be over. Oh, God, she's going for it. Usually you don't summon all three, but I think they're going for it. One, Digusta Phoenix. Two, Digusta. Actually, that would not work because you would not be able to attack over this. So I'm guessing he may go Digusto Phoenix. Then he may go Gachi Gachi. Digusto Phoenix can attack twice. That's 38. Never mind. He's going Coral Dragon. You have four Exacta Fairies in the graveyard. You have... I think there might be a Christia hitting the board. No, it's not a Christia hitting the board. The Coral Dragon does get a search. This is terrible. You must have something. Don't tell me you just went off and no. Re oh, he has to try right. This game is over. This game is over, folks. Sailor V had it all the way. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I thought Ghost Reaper was actually going to come out. But it looks like Soul, uh, Sailor V had it all planned out right now going into Digusto Phoenix targeting the Stardust Dragon. That's 5,000. That's a game. Let's go. So we got a good game three. This is a good match. And all the Maxi just, he, 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 I, like I said, man, this is why I don't really, uh, what's this is why I don't really like Maxi um, because if your opponent has game, it's not going to stop anything they're going to do. I understand that, you know, Maxi, you, you basically, you're giving your, you basically, you want to put in your opponent or the, the idea of Maxi is that to give you basically give your opponent an option. Do you want to continue to, do you, do you, do you either have game or you don't? And, uh, I, it just, it just Maxi for me, it just doesn't do what it used to do. Cause back in the day when we, everybody played Gores or they played some type of hand trap or something like that, you can at least draw onto something. So like, just imagine if Gores, Gores is at three and literally nobody is running it which is crazy because that card is so it can change the duel. I don't know how many duels I didn't play with Gores or had Gores in my deck. And this literally came back to save me in a duel just because it's there. And we're seeing the activation of dark hole right now. But like, man, if you can max it into a Gores, that's crazy. Or max it into like a Tragodia. Those are some crazy damn days. I remember my, I, well, it's not about Maxi, but it's about Gores. I remember one time I it, I had to go, and my opponent attacked me. I dropped a Gores, and I think I summoned an Injection Fairy Lily, and I think I had another monster or something like that. And I just ended up pushing for game just because Gores in itself is the 2700. You're guaranteed 2700 with, with, with the Gores token if the monster is not stronger than Gores and the token. But, yeah, I digress. Let's get back to the duel. A little sidetracked right there. A little story time back then, but... Man, this is when I played Injection Fairy Lily and stuff like that. Man, I, I hit that man with so much damage. It, was, it wasn't it was funny. But he's going he's going with an Elder uh, of the Six Samurai. I'm pretty sure the Kagamusha is going to follow up. Because if it's not a Kagamusha, this was a terrible... Oh, okay, there is a Kagamusha. All right, there you go. So he's going to go into a Shein. But you know what? I would actually be very wary. No, he's going into a Trishula. 
there we that was a perfect move from M. M made a perfect move. Let's see if he hits the Venus. Because if he doesn't hit the Venus, this is going to be bad. And he hits the Hyperion. I ain't seen this card since 2011. I love this deck. This deck was really fucking fun back in the day. And I remember when they put the. I remember when uh, my actually one of my favorite players. He's like top three of my favorite players. Was George Orlando. I remember he, he you know he was playing uh, Thunder Kings and shit. That deck was retarded. Like the deck was dumb. Like with Potato Alex and stuff like that. If you guys have a chance, go look up. Uh, go look up. Type in. Jo I, you probably can't spell it, but just type in like joe g and then um like agents or something and it should pop up it is a fan it was a fantastic duels but yeah he, he's, he's one of my favorite players that i've ever uh these top top five the top five of my Yu-Gi-Oh players of all time but as you can see he might get trish back and you know what he does have one card in his hand i'm gonna trish him back let's see if he's he, let's see if sailor, uh, sailor v is actually going to do it because I'm, I'm trishing him back if i'm sailor v i'm trishing him back but it all depends on what he runs. and it, Oh, he's going to I keep forgetting Coral Dragon. Is he? Oh, my God. If he has a try right, don't tell me you're going to do it again. Uh, I mean, what? Why would you not pop it? Wait. Wait a minute. Is this four fairies? No. He's only three fairies. Why the fuck would you not pop the... What the hell? Oh, my God. Sailor V. What the hell was that, man? Sailor V. I mean, what? There's literally no reason not to pop the Trishula. You had game if you pop Trishula. Wow, man. I I don't understand Sailor V's problem. I don't know. I don't understand. You literally did the same exact play last turn. What the fuck do you do? Oh, you could change it to zero, but it still doesn't. It's still not a. You had game. Am I, am I mistaken or something? Did this man not have game? Because you easily could have popped it with Coral. Went, died, died. Yeah, that's game. That's 31 and 5,000. That's 8,100. There, there's literally no reason to even continue this duel. Sailor V, I don't know. I, I think he might have just had a brain fart. Maybe he's scared of Gores. I, I don't know. But that's exactly the reason why people attack in order from 500 all the way to the highest because of Gores. I really feel like people should be playing Gores. And it looks like M... Ends up losing, even though he should have lost last turn. But Sailor V does come back with the reverse 2-0. Not really, but he did, lo did lose the first one. Came back with two with the vengeance of some old school agents. Man, I don't. Some people have probably never even heard of these of the agent deck. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this Yu-Gi-Oh Pro commentary. I have no idea what I'm going to title it, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. I, I, I thought I ended the video.